Welcome back to another episode of Hawk Talk. Austin Dakota and Lincoln Revel here with you from Doran Park in Bourne. The Harbor Hawks just dropped a tough 8-7 loss against the Bourne Braves on the road in Lincoln. It was a terrific ball game. Might have been the best game of the year, even though it does not result in a W for Hyannis. Yeah, it was a fantastic game. Pitching was phenomenal tonight. Hitting, we had 10 hits on the game tonight. Double digits, just a great outing on both sides of the plate. Unfortunately, man, things, didn't, things just didn't turn out our way with that walk-off hit for the Braves tonight. Adrian Saravo got the start tonight for Hyannis. He went five innings allowing just one run. He had a lot of different pitches working tonight, and Saravo looked real good on the mound. He did. Saravo looked phenomenal. We had another great outing last night, another good outing tonight. So just two amazing outings in a row for our Harbor Hawks pitchers. Bullpen looked pretty good today. Uh, Luke Mann coming out of his first inning, outing of the season, and he was phenomenal out of the bullpen tonight. So just a great outing overall. You mentioned Luke Mann, the player of the game, no doubt, tonight for Hyannis. He had three hits, including a solo home run, two RBI double, an RBI single, and he came in relief tonight for the Harbor Hawks and pitched a scoreless eighth and a pretty effective ninth, although the winning run did come across, unfortunately. It was unearned against Luke Mann. But, man, what a game for Luke Mann. Yeah, Luke Mann was am just amazing. His... No doubt his best game of the season so far, and uh, like you said, he was effective at the plate, effective on the mound. Uh, just, I'm looking forward to, I hope we see him more on the mound. He was amazing tonight. Taylor Farmer caught up with Luke Mann after the game. Let's hear what he had to say. Luke, you told me before the game that you were going to be aggressive tonight. You certainly were. Your first at bat was a home run, then you had three RBIs. Your bat was hot, to say the least. What was your mentality as you stood at the plate? Yeah, I've uh, been falling deep into counts lately and getting into pitchers counts and the guys up here, every one of them on steps on the mound has great stuff, especially when ahead. So didn't want them to get ahead and just try to jump on stuff early and found some barrels today. Now you got the start at DH and then Coach Calhoun puts you in to pitch the eighth and ninth inning. Did you know that you were going to pitch? If you did, how'd you prepare? Yeah, yeah, it's been kind of talked about the last couple weeks, and uh, I pitched at school a couple years back, and we've needed some arms with a bunch of guys getting drafted, like I was saying, pregame. And I just got up there, had a quick eighth inning. They said, you want to go back out for the ninth? And I said, I'll give you what I got. So, no, A tough battle tonight, but do you feel like you guys took a step in the right direction? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they turned the scoreboard off, but I know – it's one of the most aggressive games we've had at the plate. I mean, even outs that we had were hard hit and a lot of hits and just playing really well. Uh, Adrian threw great and followed up by a bunch of other arms, so uh, hopefully we get a win next time. Right, good job tonight. Here at Doran Park, alongside Luke Mann, I'm Taylor Farmer, Harbor Hawks Baseball Network. And we heard Luke talk about it. He's been talking with Coach a little bit about pitching over the last couple of weeks. He finally gets to make his season debut. We talked about how effective he was. A tough loss tonight for Hyannis, 8-7, to seven, but there are a lot of positive. You mentioned the hits. The pitching staff was pretty good, except for the one inning where five runs came across. But momentum, I think, is almost on the Harbor Hawks side as they head into a Friday battle at home. Yeah, over the past three games against the uh, against the Bourne Braves, we've gotten better and better each game, coming closer and closer to win tonight. We just missed it by a hair, and I think with the off day coming in tomorrow, it's much needed rest for the team after eight straight games, uh, eight straight game days, I should say. But yeah, going into the off day and then heading into Friday should be a good off day for the team. Off day tomorrow for the Harbor Hawks as they get ready for a Friday night matchup at 6 p.m. at home against the Chatham Anglers. For Lincoln Revel, I'm Austin Dakota. Thank you for watching Hawk Talk.